Hi there! Welcome back to a new video in Grammar for Everybody. Today, we are going to continue talking about verbals. But to be specific, we are going to talk about infinitives. So let's start. As we know guys, infinitives have different functions. They can act as nouns, as adjectives, and as adverbs. So in this video, we are going to be talking about infinitives as adjectives. Okay, as we may know, adjectives are in charge of giving more information about a noun that they modify. So, when we say that an infinitive is acting as an adjective, we say that they are executing the same task. They are giving or providing more information about a noun. But the difference in here is the position. In here, the position of an infinitive acting as an adjective will be after the noun they modify, not before, as the usual case with regular adjectives. And the infinitive will provide information regarding the previous noun. So let's see the examples. He lacked the strength to resist. In this example, we have the infinitive to resist. In this case, this infinitive is acting as an adjective because it is modifying the noun strength. And as you can see, the position of this infinitive is after the noun, not before, as we say that normal and regular adjectives do. And in the next sentence, her reason to abandon is still a mystery. In this case, we have the infinitive to abandon that is given more information about the noun reason. And here we have some other examples. That's an appropriate amount of money to buy a car. And here we have an infinitive phrase that is acting as an adjective, to buy a car. That is the infinitive phrase, and it is modifying the noun amount. But you may wonder, what about money? Why is not this infinitive phrase modifying the noun money? In this case, this noun is the object of the preposition of. And this prepositional phrase is modifying the noun amount. So, the infinitive phrase is modifying this noun. And then, in the next example, it is the best time to start. This is just a simple sentence, and in here, this infinitive is modifying the noun time. So, in most of the cases, when an infinitive follows a noun, it means that it is an adjective. But be careful, because there are cases in which this infinitive is not an adjective. It may be an adverb. So, always check that that infinitive provides information about the noun. So here we finish with this video, but remember that we haven't finished talking about verbals, so we are going to continue talking about them in future videos. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.